today we're gonna get a little funky. I now realise after saying that that I really that was possibly the worst intro ever. You know what? Let's forget about that. So let's get right into it. So let's say you have uh, a string. Um, this is a country, right? You've got um, I don't know England. <laughs> so that's country one, I guess. And in your game, you're gonna have a list of countries, I guess, and so forth. Uh, USA, Japan. You don't want a mess like this. You want an array. So how do we do it? String, square brackets. That's a string array. We're gonna call this countries. Right? Equals squiggly brackets. All right. So whoa, what's this? Right. So familiar. I'm familiar, I'm familiar with this, right? I've just learned this, this, this makes it an array, right? Uh, this is the name of the variable. Well, array, it's not really a variable. Um, I'm gonna equal, and whoa, 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 why the fuck are there squiggly brackets here? What? <laughs> That's a bit... And a semicolon after squiggly brackets? What? What? Bear with me. Alright, so, basically an array holds a range of whatever you you can make an int array. Uh, oh, you can make an int array. You 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 can literally do anything. All right. Just yeah. So here I'm gonna put in a list of countries: England, USA. Separate it all by commas. Japan. So I've got three countries there. Awesome. And they're all inside these squiggly brackets. So an array. Ba this array is basically holding these strings, separate strings. And I don't know what the limit is. I'm gonna assume it's a very high number of strings. The, the most the most strings I've had in array is about fifty, I think, ish. I assume it's practically unlimited. Arrays are very useful for generating maps. We'll go through that in a very far away tutorial. Um but let's continue with this. So say I wanted to print out USA from my array. Right? How would I do that? Alright, well you go, system.out.println. Hey man, I'm from Plus. So this wouldn't work, would it? No. If we do that. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. It's gonna throw something like that. We don't want that. No, we want USA. So, how do we do this? Square brackets. Right, so, and inside these square brackets, what do we put? Well, we put the number 1. And there we go. So why did we put in number 1? Some of you may have quickly jumped to the conclusion that, oh, okay, inside here you put, like, the number, uh, the, num the numerical position of the string you want. So 1, 2, 3. But if it was like that, then it would have printed England. Not USA. We put in one, and it printed USA. Why is that? Well, if you jump to the conclusion that it's all in numerical positions, then you're kind of right. Uh, it is. However, the order is not one, two, three, four, five. No. <laughs> it's O, oh, one, two. Whenever you're counting in Java, we always start from O. Oh, never one. Alright. So now we've got that, that's pretty much a race. Let's, let's go into something a bit more tricky. Let's go into multi-dimensional arrays. Alright. Yeah. Now I've got another pair of square brackets. Wow, we're, we're gonna get a bit, you know, complicated here. So, wow, okay, so what I'm gonna have for the uh, second set, so basically you've got, you can have two sets of strings. Uh, basically, so for the first, I'm gonna have this list of countries. The second set, I'm gonna have a list of their capital cities. Uh, so we got London, uh, Washington, and Tokyo. All right, we're still getting errors. Why? You need to wrap both of these round with squiggly brackets, and then separate them with a comma. So hopefully, you might have a rough idea on how you print something from a multi-dimensional array. Let me show you. Countries. O. O. Sorry. One. O. Alright. Now, 
Take a guess. What is that going to print? I want you to take a guess. What is that going to print? Before you do that, I realize this is all one string. So I need to separate these. There we go. So, hey, I'm from London. All right, seems good. But you might have assumed that, okay, one, this will print USA. This will print London. So USA London, no. What it did was, here, you either put in O or one, right? If you put in O, it'll say, okay, you want something from the first set. What do you want from the first set? Oh, you want England from the first set. Okay, awesome. If I put in one, it'll say, oh, okay, you want something from the second set. What do you want from the second set? Oh, London. All right, awesome. So now we got that. Hey, I'm from London. That's in, and now we're gonna say England. So plus countries. Oh, oh. Hey, I'm from London. That's in England. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd urge you to leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already subscribed, have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.